Hello everybody, it's the Young Sansom Jack Boy here, and today I'm bringing you guys the fourth episode of Looters Live. Today I'm going to be farming Tartar Station Loot Room. Um, if you guys don't know what Tartar Station Loot Room is, uh, it's this awesome little loot room um, in the fourth DLC. Isn't it like Claptrap's Robo Revolution or something like that? I don't remember what the DLC is called, honestly, but uh, it's in the fourth DLC. Some claptraps over revolution and yeah it's it's a really cool loot room to get you know good easy legendaries and cash so I'll put a link because I have a video on on that uh, loot room that you guys can go check out you know how to farm it so I'll put a link in the description below and in this video so you guys can go check that out but uh, uh I'm gonna be doing this with my new mic um, so hopefully I sound pretty good I lowered the in-game volume pretty low so you guys can hear me just in case so but uh yeah, let's kick this off here. Um, right here. Sweet, we're already at Tartar Station. Let's sit closer here. Alrighty. Um, sweet, we're all ready to go. What guns do we have out? <clears throat> the Magic, Aries, Tsunami, and Orion. Sweet. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was my phone right there. Just got a text message. I know it sounds like a I got a tweet, but I just it's actually a text message. Cause you know how you can like change the sound or whatever. When you get a text message, you can change that sound that you get, and I just changed it to like the tweet or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. I'm still experimenting with this. I'm still trying to work out the, you know, work out the bugs here, work out the the problems I'm having. <clears throat> you know, like me being kind of quiet and stuff. I might have to. There's actually three settings on this blue snowball. Right now I'm just using the first setting. It's like the normal commentary setting. And then there's like the third setting, which I might end up using. If it, my voice isn't, you know, being too quiet, I'll probably end up using the third setting because uh, it's like this conference setting. It just makes my voice louder. I'm not sure, though, if that's a good idea, honestly. But, uh, yeah. I'll, pro I'll probably just keep doing what I'm doing now, you know, lower the game volume a lot and then just... You know, record on the first setting. That's probably what I'm just gonna keep doing here. Oh, sweet purple SMG, incendiary stinger. Ooh, nice. Let's check this vending machine called Torment. But yeah, sorry for the lack of videos lately, guys. I'm just kind of been taking a little break, you know, from videos. Um. I did one a, a few days ago. It was that uh, how to farm that like special chest in Arid Badlands that gives you you know really good loot on low level characters. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, once again, I'll, if you ha if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll post a link uh, in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Right, or I might do an annotation in this video. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, guys, double anarchy. Sweet, awesome. Wait, is that one better than mine? Let's see. Uh, anarchy. Let's pull it out and let's compare it here. Uh, no. My damage is better on mine. Oh my gosh. I keep getting this text message here. It's like the same message. I don't know why I keep getting it. Dang guys, there's a lot of good uh you know purples this time around, but there's not any uh legendaries. So let's pull back out my tsunami. Alrighty, let's come back in here. 
I'm not sure how many times I'll farm this in this video. Uh, probably a lot. Not sure how many times I'm gonna farm it, but probably you know a lot because it's pretty fast to farm this place. You can farm it a lot, guys. It's it's like like it said in the video uh, in a how to farm you know Tartar Station loot room video. Which, like I said, I'll post a link in the in the, descri in the description below, or I might post an annotation in this video for you guys to go see if you haven't watched that video. But uh, you know, I, I say that it this is a lot easier than you know farming the Crimson Armor because the Crimson Armor, you know, you have to go kill guys, you have to go like fight General Knox, and you know, it takes a while to get to the Crimson Armory, you know, and it takes a lot longer to farm. But this, you know, it's a lot quicker. You know, if you're not looking to, you know, farm the Crimson Army, if you're not looking to spend, like, a lot of time, you know, getting to the Armory and killing Nox and stuff, and you can just come here and have a good time, just chill, because this is, this is really chilling, you know, <laughs> if you go this way, you can just chill out, because you don't have to fight anything, you know, you just farm this forever and not have to worry about, like, going down or anything like that, so, it's pretty nice. But yeah, this episode I'm just chilling. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just chilling. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little tired, guys. I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm just, just tired this, today right now. It's like the afternoon, too. I'm just tired. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. Let's check the vending machines. You always want to check the vending machines. Like the gun vending machine just in case there might be like a legendary something in there you know every time you farm this you don't have to but you never know that might be legendary oh there we go equalizer sweet <clears throat> so sometime here I might do a borderlands one let's play I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that I might do it with uh, one of my friends um, you guys might know him if you've watched my uh, Left 4 Dead 2, my last like Left 4 Dead 2, uh, what was it, the Left 4 Gold Knight campaign walkthrough, part 1 or whatever, uh, you guys might know him from that, his name is Donovan Miller, Sparta 9D, uh, I think we'll, we might go through the game co-op, because he just recently got Borderlands 1, yeah, I might start a new character so we might rock out, so... Maybe, you know, we can get a couple of you dudes in here, you know. Maybe. Alright, I think that's it. Is that it? Just the uh, equalizer. Alrighty. Save and quit. But yeah, um... Part 2, I'm not sure if you guys have seen my message, but I posted on YouTube uh, that Part 2 of that Left 4 Dead 2, um, you know, Left 4 Golden Eye campaign walkthrough is not going to be uploaded because for some weird reason it, it got corrupt. I don't know why, but it just got corrupted. So I'm not going to be uploading that. It sucks, you know, I'll just have Part 1 up for you guys to watch if you haven't seen that, but uh, Part 2... I got corrupt. I tried everything. It just wouldn't render or anything like that. It was really glitchy. So. I tried everything, you know. I tried, tried rendering it in Movie Maker, Vegas, Video Wave, you know, all sorts of stuff, and I couldn't get it to work. So, sorry about that, guys. Really sorry. I think Bandicam, like, did that or something. Because that. You know, it was really laggy in that match for some reason when I was doing that, so it could have could have been bandy cam probably that caused that. You know, stuffer, stuffer. <laughs> I'm retarded. I love the soundtrack in this game, guys. It's awesome. It just feels like you're in the Borderlands. I don't know. It's just feels like you're actually in this game or something like you know <laughs> it's just it's a really it fits this game really well the soundtrack really good 
I mean, the Borderlands 2 soundtrack could have, you know, been better. I mean, it was really good, but it could have been done better somehow. It just was more of like dubstep and stuff, stuff like that. I mean, which is good. I like dubstep. Some of you dudes might not like that stuff. You might not like my intro. It's like Skrillex, but uh, you know, I don't really give a crap. If you don't like my intro, either just skip it or whatever. You know, when it comes to my outro, when it comes to the point, you know, where my outro is gonna play, then just close out the video. It's that simple. I mean. My, my intro is not that long, honestly, so it's, you can watch it. It's not that bad. Uh, nothing. I think. Was there a legendary? I don't think I saw a legendary. Legendary! I want, like, this thing. I think Master Kids does it, like... When he gets a legendary or something in one of his videos or something like he like pops up this thing like legendary or something like that. I want that. Or like pearlescent. I just wanted to say something too, like you know on Unreal Tournament or whatever, like the, the announcer guy is like double kill multi kill <laughs> you know like that. I want that on here except like legendary you know or pearlescent unique or something like that. That'd be sweet be really cool. Alright, I, didn't I get a rocket launcher right here last time? Or did I... Wait a minute. I think I got that rocket launcher last time except it was in that chest, wasn't it? <laughs> like the same looking rocket launcher, like the camo on it's like the same. It just looks the same. It might not be the same rocket launcher, but it's, it just looks the same. Um, yeah, alright. Farmed it three times so far, I think. Fourth time? I think so. I'm not, I'm not really keeping track, but I probably should. I think this is the fourth time. But yeah, uh, I really want to get you dudes in here. Um, maybe the next episode or the episode after that, I'll probably do a special co op episode of Lear's Live. Um, you know, I, I think I've got a couple, uh, you know, a few dudes that are. That are level 69 and uh, that want to play with me, so I might get them in here, you know. We can rock out. And I had this idea, guys. Uh, I, I had this really good idea that I really want to do. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's a good idea. Uh, I really want to make this, like, cinematic mini-movie, you know, like, dramatic, like, mini-movie for Borderlands 1 or something. You know, somehow, like, because there is a way on Borderlands 1 and 2 to disable your HUD. You know, like remove your HUD and stuff, and then you can just unequip your gun and you can like film. You know, nothing will be on the screen except just the game, you know. And you could film stuff, like you can film. I don't know, I was just thinking, like, we could do that. I need to get a, a, a couple other dudes in here, I think. I think I got a few people down that are, you know, willing to help me with this, but uh, I want to make this like cinematic, you know, dramatic. A little mini movie for Borderlands 1 and maybe Borderlands 2 that's that's like really professional too like that I want a lot of people like a lot of people to notice maybe even Gearbox and Randy Pitchford and stuff like that would be sweet maybe Yodi Slash stuff like that I really want it to I'm gonna like I want to get two people as like the cameraman you know like I said you just disable the HUD and stuff and all that and uh yeah, they're gonna be the cameraman. And then I need two people as the players, and we just, uh, you know, the cameraman will film. And it has to be, you know, we'll we'll play co-op four players, and we'll get it figured out. But it's gonna be hard, I know it is. And then I'll edit it after, which is gonna take a long time because, you know, I'm gonna have a song playing, which I'll, you know, uh, I'll have a song playing or something. And then, let's see, okay, uh. Oh man, my mind just went blank. I don't know, brain fart here. What was I saying? Something about... Is that it? Is that all the chests? Holy crap, guys. My mind just went blank. Oh yeah, okay, the song is going to be playing. And then I'm going to be editing it. And it's going to be... I'm going to be like cutting it and trimming it every beat or something like that. It's going to be super professional and super cool. Like it, 
draft, you know. It's gonna be like an official movie kind of a thing. Well, it's not really gonna be. It's family, but it's gonna, you know, seem like it's official. It's gonna be that professional. Sorry for my, <laughs> sorry that my uh, mind went blank right there, guys. Happens, you know. She has happened. Sorry, right. save you quit. I think that's it. Oh, oops. Save you quit. But yeah, I think it's a good idea, guys. Um, you know, this little man, this little cinematic movie. I've really been thinking about it too. Like, I don't know what it's really gonna be about right now. I was thinking maybe like Roland. It's gonna be like this little mini story of like untold story of Roland and Lilith or something. Maybe on Borderlands One or Two. It's probably gonna be. Borderlands 1, I'm not sure though. Yeah, because one problem about Borderlands 2, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film on Borderlands 2 because when you unequip all your guns and stuff, like, you're running around, when you're running around with no guns, you're, like, your hands are moving, you can see your hands on the screen, and that's a problem. There, so, friend. I don't think that happens on Borderlands 1. Um, but, like, it's going to be about, like, Roland and Lilith or something, like, they're fighting, okay, they're like fighting, killing bandits and stuff, killing people, you know, getting loot and stuff, and all of a sudden, you know, Lilith, like, is, gets kind of carried away with killing people, and she goes down far away from Roland, and Roland tries to save her, and it's, you know, it's really, like, dramatic and stuff, and there's, like, this, it's, like, sad music playing or something, and, like, you know, he, he's trying to fight, you know, and trying to get to her. And she she dies right when like he gets there and like he gets he gets raged and like kills all these guys and then all of a sudden out of nowhere on the, like you know Lilith like responds you know right behind him or something like that and then that, that's where it ends or something I don't know that sounds really cool but I think it'll be really cool and I want it to be like dramatic and sad and stuff I'm not I'm not sure. Post in the comments, you know, if you have an idea for this, what you know, what the story's gonna be for this little mini movie, because I want to do this mini movie. I was also thinking about a Borderlands 2 one where like all the like Vault Hunters unite or something, and all of them just like just shows awesome gameplay of all of them just killing guys or something, and like that'd be awesome. But uh, I don't know, it's gonna be super hard, you know, to get everyone in on this, and it's gonna be super hard to edit, but it's gonna be worth it. You know, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I really want it to uh, work out and stuff. I think it'd be awesome. And then the other day, uh, if you're if you're a sub to Yodi Slay and you're following him on Twitter, guys, uh, he posted the other day. Not, you know, if you've seen this, uh, if you haven't seen this, I'll explain to you right now. He was thinking about he also he was thinking about this for a while, but uh, the other day, someone um, was helping him with this awesome zombies map. It's like a Borderlands two zombies map and then they stopped you know they stopped with it and started working on another project and he was just explaining you know someone needs to do this borderlands 2 map you know zombies map um and that'd be awesome you know guys like i was thinking i could start working on that zombies map because i'm not even sure how to freaking make zombies maps you know call duty zombies maps and also guys this is really quick <laughs> Going on to another topic, this is a uh, this is also a good way the Tarstration loot room to get uh, Iridian guns. That's what I forgot to mention in that video. It's a good way to get Iridian guns. Pretty easy. So kind of rare, you know. But anyway, going back back to that other topic uh, about the zombies map, Borderlands 2 zombies map. Uh, yeah, I was thinking like I could make a make that Borderlands 2 zombies map or Borderlands zombies map. You know, but I'm not even sure how to even create zombies maps at all. I was just thinking I could learn, and me and my buddy can create them. His name is Nick. Or on Steam, his name is Neo Geo 90 or something like that. But uh, I think did did we get them all? I think we got them all. Did I check the vending machine? I think I did. But yeah, we can make that zombies map. It'd be super beast, guys. It'd be super beast, in my opinion. You know. And maybe you dudes can help us out. You know, if you, if some of you guys like know how to create zombies maps professionally, that'd be really cool. Cause maybe you can help me out with this. Cause, you know, I really want to do this because Yodi Slayer, you know, is so interested in it. And like, if someone happened to do it, he would. He said that he's gonna like, all all of his subscribers will like download it, and that's like, so much. It's like. 
500, is it 5, I don't know how many subscribers he has, 500,000, I don't even know how many subscribers he has, but he has a lot, alright guys, like, I can't save and quit, it'd be just awesome, that's why I want to do it, you know, in, Yodi Slayer would like love me for that, that'd be just awesome, I was thinking about doing it, you know, for him and uh, for his subscribers, and for my subscribers, if you guys like zombies and borderlands, you know, I know you guys like Borderlands, but if you like, if you like zombies too, you know, it'd be really cool. Um, it'd be really interesting, you know, I'd see what everyone thinks. I was thinking about like a Borderlands 2 Sanctuary zombies map or something, like Sanctuary, that's what I was thinking. Like the Golden Chest, I had an idea the other day, the go I was thinking about it. The Golden Chest would be the, the random box, that'd be so cool, wouldn't it guys? And like Roland's Place, like the safe or something would be like this pack-a-punch room like you can go inside the safe or something like you have to like activate this teleporter because I would probably I would do like a basic zombies map I wouldn't really do any special guns or like Borderlands guns I would like you know have someone else do that that you know like the UGX team or whatever I'd probably have someone else do the Borderlands guns and stuff but I'd make the map and then I would you know leave it to someone else to finish the you know like add other custom stuff like guns and but I would like this, you know, where the golden chest is at in, in Borderlands 2, I'd like that to be the random box, and that'd be sweet. That'd be like the, that'd be perfect, actually. The golden chest to be the random box, and then, uh, yeah, and like the safe, you have to like figure out a way to open the safe, which is the inside, there's like a pack punch machine or something. That'd be really cool, you know. I was thinking about that. Sanctuary is kind of destroyed. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in the sky or not. I probably should. Something like Floating City, you know, but. It'd be kind of hard because I don't really know how to make zombies maps. I actually tried learning the other day. I'm kind of lazy. And I don't know. It just looks so hard. You have to do all this stuff like get this freaking mod manager. Like mod. What is it called? The map maker or whatever? The mod tools or something like that. Yeah, the mod tools. And you have to get all this other stuff. It just looks so confusing. I would actually, you know, I was thinking me and my buddy uh, can, can work on it because I think he's good at that stuff and maybe. You know, we can work on it together. I'm not sure. He's kind of busy with work and stuff, but uh, I was thinking we could do it. It's my idea. But yeah, there's a couple ideas, guys, right there. You know, maybe, I, you know, you guys can help me out with this zombies map somehow. And, you know, post in the comments if you have any ideas for that awesome story, you know, mini movie that I was thinking of. Cinematic mini movie. It has to be kind of like a sad story that kind of has a happy ending at the end or something. I don't know. Anything like that would be really cool. Any ideas will work. Oh, there we go. Another equalizer. Is that all we've gotten so far? Oh my gosh, guys. Three equalizers in a row. Okay, I was like, <laughs> this better not be an equalizer. Volcano, nice. Although, you do kind of get like the cheaper the cheaper legendaries if you farm this place, guys. You don't really... It's kind of hard to find the rare legendaries because... Like, what I mean by cheap legendaries is, like, you know, equalizers. Like, the common legendaries. That's what I meant, not the cheap <laughs> legendaries. They're kind of cheap, but... Like, oh my gosh, I did not see this. Another equalizer, guys! And a defiler. That's a really good defiler. Holy crap. But yeah, the, like, the common legendaries are, like... For example, the equalizer is a common legendary, legendary. As you can see, I got, like, four in this place. One, two, three three and then I got like two right two of the last couple of runs or whatever holy crap guys look at this I'm gonna take a steam screenshot of this crap actually I don't know if I want it because it might stop the recording but uh <laughs> holy crap dudes defiler and equalizer that's cool I like that they're like <laughs> that's cool crossing here I actually had like that happened once where they were like crossing it was like two unforgivens or something it was really cool. Um, two of the same, like looking, Unforgiven is doing that same thing that these are doing. Like, um, you know, they were like cross and stuff. I had, I, I took a stream, a Steam screenshot of it. It was pretty cool. But uh, let's see. Um, for no, not Unforgiven. Uh, Defiler. But there was this dude the other day that uh, that like posted. On one of my like my Luger's live the third episode my last episode of Luger's live and he's like, dude, uh, you know this is how you get pearlescence and I'm like, dude, I already know how to get pearlescence. I I know obviously you know and then he posted it again in my latest video my last one you know how to farm the special chest and I was like, dude, I saw your last comment, dude. 
You know, I already know this stuff. You do not have to, you know, remind me about this stuff. And I was like, you know, really kind of, it just kind of made me frustrated. You know, I know he's probably a loyal sub, and I'm sorry about that, dude. But you don't, don't, you know, do that. Don't tell me about stuff that I already know. It's pretty obvious that I already know how to get per lessons. Okay. You know, Cromorax, Badasses, Crimson Lance Chess, you know, and... You know, the last episode, I might have not said, you know, I might have said, Oh, I hope I get a per lesson from one of the chests. I meant the Crimson Lance chests, alright, guys? Pretty obvious. I mean, I even have per lesson guides, and I explain in those guides how to get them. So, yeah, Cromrax, Badasses, some bosses, you know, Crimson Lance chests. I know how to get them, guys. It's pretty freaking obvious. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. We got one, two, th wait a minute, we got a bulldog? Holy crap, guys, we got a lot of legendaries this run. I think this is like the most legendaries I've gotten in one run. I didn't realize we got a bulldog. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six legendaries in one farming run on this place. That's crazy, guys. That's a lot of legendaries. Um, and then two in one chest. That's that's beast. Two revolvers in one chest. That's cool. You know, most of them are freaking equalizers. <laughs> Which I'm not saying equalizers are bad. They're really cool, you know. But some are kind of cheap. I mean, I've seen so many equalizers in Volcano these guys. They're like, they're uh, they're so common. Um. I like when I first started playthrough two on my Roland. I was like at the very beginning and like Skagully, I got a volcano, and then right after that, I got one from like this chest, like in Arid Badlands. I can't remember. It's you kill bandits there. It's like next to Bonehead and stuff, and there's like this arena. It's like right there somewhere. I got a little freaking. There was like a chest, and I got a, another volcano, and I was like really. And then I didn't get a legendary until like. Old Haven, that's that's how long it took me until like, you know, I got to Old Haven, I got the Ogre, I think it was the Ogre, and then I made a guide on that, if you guys remember that. Um, Alright, save and quit. <clears throat> Single player! But yeah, I'm really enjoying the series, guys. Really enjoying it. It's fun doing these uh, videos for you dudes. You know, farming live, it's a lot of fun, actually. I do tend to, you know, get focused on the commentary, get concentrated on the commentary rather than the game. That, that happens. I just try to, you know, I, I try to talk for you dudes. I don't want to just sit here and just run around not talking. But, uh, yeah, normally I don't talk when I play games. Unless I'm doing a video or something, you know. Normally I'm just sitting there just playing. Do they alone? Gears. These are pretty cool. Oh, makes you dizzy. I've been thinking about doing uh, videos on Unreal Tournament 2004 or something like that, guys. I've been really thinking about doing that, too. I've been playing it lately, and oh my gosh, it's so fun. It is an old game, you know. So is Borderlands, you know. Borderlands was pretty old. I'm just... You know, <laughs> I just want to do it on 2004. I know you guys might be thinking, why not, you know, Unreal Tournament 3? That's newer and has better graphics. Well, 2004, it seems like it has more content and stuff, you know. Like, even the graphics on 2004 aren't that bad, honestly. They're they're not really that bad, you know. 3's graphics are a lot better, but, you know, 2004 is a lot more funner. You got a lot more content, you know. You've got, like, more maps, a lot more maps. She's load more maps. You've got more modes, you know, you've got really cool stuff, really cool modes and stuff. And I think I'm almost beating the tournament or whatever on that game, like the campaign or whatever on 2004, I'm trying to beat it. It's getting pretty tough, I mean, it's like, I'm fighting like godlike bots and stuff, it's so hard. They're like aimed on me, I like raged the other day, I, I should have got it on camera, I was like, manly man rage, alright guys, you should have seen this rage, it was like, whoo, I mean, this is... Manly rage, all right. This isn't cod rage or anything. This is even worse. It's like manly rage. That's what I'm calling. It. I don't know. It's just the real rage, you know, the real, the real deal here. 
you know, this is a different rage, you know, that's why I'm calling man, because it's just, oh my gosh, I was like, freaking yelling at the screen, no one was home, and I was just raging, I, I literally did rage quit, there was, I was like fighting against this godlike team, and man, you know, I, I was like on this like last CTF match or whatever, and they won me, and I was like so mad, I wanted to like, blood rights them, which means, you know, you fight, you fight the team, and if you win, you uh, get one of their teammates. And I, I tried it, and I lost, and they were because they were aimbotting me. It was like an insta-gib insta game where, like, you get these insta-gib shock rifles that just one-hit kill. And they were just, one, you know, right when I pop out, they just, bam, aimbot here. And it, it, it was, it was, oh my gosh, it was terrible. And after I, I was done playing, like, I played a few matches, and I lost a few times. I, I almost got bankrupt, and I almost had to start over, but a fan saved me, which is nice. And I, like, rage quit, and I felt so bad that night. I was like, oh my god, what, what was I thinking? You know, I just think that's it. What was I thinking, you know? So, I just never had that rage before, and I, you know, that's what you call real rage. Because I played Call of Duty, and I've had rage, you know, and that's a different rage, though, in my opinion. This this was a different rage on Unreal Tournament. It was, it was different. It was the real rage. It was, you know, manly man rage here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it manly man rage, but that's what I'm going to call it. But yeah, I hope you guys can hear me in this video. How many times we farm it? Six, seven times? I, I'm not keeping track. Maybe you guys can keep track for me. Post in the comments, you know. When it become, you know, keep counting how many times I'm farming this here, because I'm not keeping track, and maybe if you want, you can post in the comments, let me know how many times I farmed it, farmed it in this video, because honestly, this is like, I think this is the funnest, you know, Looters Live I've had, I've, I've done so far, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys are enjoying it, but I just love chilling out, not killing anybody, and just farming this, I love farming Tartar Station, you know, it's pretty fun, it's because you don't have to kill anybody, you know, it's, I know it might not be entertaining for you dudes, but it's, you know, I'm, I just want to chill right now. It's it's nice. If you just want to chill out, you know, this is, like I said, this is a really good way to do that. Farm and Tartar Station. But yeah, I think next episode I'm probably either going to do this again, depends on what you guys want. I mean, post in the comments, you know, post in the comments, you know, on what you want to see on the next episode of Looters Live. You know, I, I'd be willing to farm crime racks, uh, you know, the Crimson Armor again, maybe something else, you know, post in the comments, maybe a different thing, maybe the developer's chest, or just running around, I mean, I don't even need to farm something, I can just run around, you know, trying to kill people or something, if you guys want, I don't, I don't really care, just post in the comments, you know, and let me know what you want to see, because, you know, if you don't let me know, I'll probably just do what I want to do, which is fine, you know. You guys don't really care. That's fine, but I'm uh, just saying. You know, I bet some of you dudes want to see me farm something. You know, something that you want right. me to farm, like the Crimson Armory, or something again, or Cromrax. I mean, I think Cromrax was the most popular one so far. Me farming Cromrax, and of course, next time there's been a lot of like, you know, some comments saying, you know, maybe you should. Here's an idea. Maybe you should, you know. Start the video right when you, you know, or you're in Cromerax's lair, you know, rather than just having to drive all the way there and ramble on, you know, <laughs> freaking talk and talk and talk and just ramble on, you know. That's what I'm going to do next time, all right, guys, because it's been a, it's been a request that I, you know, record when I'm you know, about to farm something like, for example, I'm in, I'm going to start recording when I'm in Cromerax's lair, you know, instead of like, start recording right when I start up the game you guys don't have to watch me you know drive all the way there and ramble on about crap you guys probably don't even care about so uh, oh, nothing see anything I don't, did we get a legendary? I don't think we did alright for some reason my borderline has been kind of laggy lately I don't know why my graphics card is up to date. I've got a GTX 6060 Ti, and you know it's been running pretty good. But sometimes, like right now, it's not you know running the best. Although I have 60 FPS with my bandy cam, you know it's see right now it's it's really laggy. As you can you know if you look over in that city, I don't know why. I just kind of avoid looking at it. <laughs> I don't know why. You know just sometimes 
I'll get that log. But I'm actually eventually here gonna get a, a new motherboard. So I, cause right now my motherboard only has one PSI slot, so I only can put like one, you know, graphics card in and stuff like that. So I'm not really good with this stuff, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a new motherboard, which my buddy is gonna help me out. Hopefully install it and uh, stuff like that. And, and then I'm gonna save up for a new graphics card, another one. So they can uh, SLI it, you know. Then it should run pitch perfect, you know. <laughs> it should run perfectly. You run it all down. Yeah, the music in this game is so beast, guys. It fits the game perfectly. Like, when I start. When I've been, you know, I've been working on my other characters. That's kind of why I haven't been, you know, doing much videos lately, guys. That's. You know, I've been busy, been tired, and I've also been. Uh, working on my, you know, just working on my other characters and not really doing videos because it seems like every time I play Borderlands now it's because I'm like making a video and I just wanted to just chill out and you know, not make a video and work on my other characters. So I hope you guys understand. Sometimes when I'm not doing videos, I might do that, and, you know, just because chill out playing other games or just chill out working on other characters or doing something else that I don't want to film. Oh, there we go, Raven. So yeah, if I don't, sometimes if I don't make a video for a few days or something, or a weekend or something, I'll probably just end up, you know, uh, chilling out and just rocking out with, with making no videos or anything like that. You know, like, like I was saying, I was working on my other characters. You know, just chilling, chilling out, working on them. Because I don't want to always make videos when I play Borderlands, you know. <laughs> That's usually what's happening, right, you know, nowadays for me. Like every time I start up, I'm like, hey, I got this, you know, got an idea. I should do a video on this. And then when I have an idea, when I want to do a video, guys, I, I actually, you know, I end up doing a video on what I think of. Because like right when I get an idea, hey, I should do a video on this, I just, you know, I can't get it out of my mind. And I eventually do a video on it, so... Like that special chest, that last video, the special chest in Air Badlands, I really want to do a video on it because I thought it was super helpful for me and I thought it would be helpful for you guys, you know. So, well, yeah, once I get an idea in my mind, I really want to pursue it, you know, and get her done. So, like these, you know, these ideas that I've had, you know, like the Sanctuary Zombies map, which might not work out, but I want the, uh, which I hope it works out because that'd be sick, guys. You'll just let I would, like, you know. <laughs> love me for that and like all of the subscribers it would be really an amazing moment like all of a sudden one day I'm just I finish the map and I'm like on Twitter I like post them you know there's a there's sanctuary zombies map I made I mean my buddy man and he'll be like oh my freaking crapper on a stanker here you know <laughs> be awesome just saying be awesome the reward it would be it would be so rewarding in my opinion I'm not doing it just for that I just think it would be really cool because no one's done a Borderlands zombies map and that's why Yodi wants someone to do it so, Cobra, we got the Cobra, which is pretty rare. Haven't seen much Cobras. And I think that's it. Is that it? Oh, and then we got the Raven. Oh, yeah. So, two legendaries this run. I think I'll farm a couple more times, and that, that's it, guys. Wrap it up. What time is it? Uh, it's 2 o'clock. Not sure how long I've been playing, honestly. This is a lot more nicer, you know, having this freaking uh, desk mic, you know, rather than a stupid headset, because that headset, you know, made my freaking head hurt and it made the videos shorter, like the Looters Live videos shorter, because now I can make really long Looters Live videos and stuff like that, because now I can do that Underdome, Underdome uh, four player co op episode now. We rock out on the 20 rounders. Now I can do that now, now that I have this uh, desk mic. So, sometimes I am still going to use that headset for, you know, other things, but, uh, Hello there, most of the time I'm going to use my desk mic. Ew. That robot is creepy. Like, I just feel like that quest was not worth, you know, <laughs> doing because of that creepy robot. I mean, really, you have to collect, like, billions of robot parts, and it turns out to be a lame Tannis bot. I mean, ugh. Not worth it, guys. I mean, if you guys do that quest, it's just... If you guys... 
because <laughs> you have to do the first couple of quest, you know, first couple of them, and then you, then you can progress on through the main quests on this DLC. But, and I, I don't recommend finishing that up. I mean, if you want, you know, if you want to complete everything, that's fine. But I'm just saying, it's just not worth it. It's creepy. In the end, you get a creepy freaking robot that stares at you every time you go through. You know, if you end up farming this place, you, you always have to freaking look at that thing. It's creepy. You don't have to look at it. You can look away, but it's... I don't like it. Tannis is cool, but uh, that bot is creepy. <laughs> That's why it's not worth it. I don't remember what you get. I think you get a pretty good gun or something, but I'm just... I honestly don't like this DLC, guys. It's one of my least favorite DLC in this game. Probably my least deep favorite DLC, like... And just borderlines in general. I just don't like it, you know. It is cool, but I think my least favorite actually of all time would probably be the Sir Hammerlocks DLC. Ugh, guys, that was that was lame. You know, it was cool at first, but it's just so short, you know, they could have done a better job. I mean and if you do all the side quests and stuff, you know, it's pretty long in the end, but if you don't, which some people don't, then it's it's super short. That's why I hated that DLC. It's cool DLC and all. But, you know, I like the swamp feeling, but it's... And I love how the drifters returned. That was awesome, because the drifters on this game were awesome. I like the drifters. They're one of my favorite enemies. And there's, like, a the raid boss drifter or whatever. I can't remember. Dexidus the Invincible or something like that. Which I've killed a few times. And I got, like, Chopper or whatever, which is a gun that returned. From Borderlands 1. Uh, so we got the, the Firehawk. We got... I think that's it. All right, more, maybe one more, one or two more times, and then I'll wrap this episode up, guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a lot of fun actually, just chilling out. You know, I'll probably do this sometimes when I just want to chill out. Maybe explain it. It's a good, a good way to explain a couple ideas, you know, that I have. So it's a good way because you don't have to fight anybody. Just kind of, it's a really good way to let you guys know about stuffer. But now, yeah, now you know my ideas that I was thinking of, and I really want to, you know, finish them up and actually do those ideas, you know, that I was thinking of. And maybe you get, maybe you just can help me, like I said, for this uh, cinematic, cinematic uh, Borderlands video that I was thinking about. Maybe post an idea in the comments below if you have one. You know, if you don't have one right now, maybe you get one later on. You know, come back to this video, let me know, or just private message me on Steam if you have me on Steam, or private message me on YouTube or something, anything like that, Twitter, something like that, maybe not Twitter, because, you know, you can't really, won't really fit in there, but, like, yeah, maybe just, uh, the story might, you know, <laughs> it might be pretty long, so you probably have to, I recommend, you know, letting me know in the comments below in this video, or sending me a message on YouTube or Steam, that's what I recommend, you know, if you want to let me know of an idea, but, uh, yeah, Please let me know if you uh, have an idea, because I'll probably just do that idea I was thinking with Roland and Lilith or something. But if you think it's not that good of an idea to do that one, then let me know, guys, which I think it is. I was talking to Jez Demel the other day, and uh, she said it was a pretty good idea, whatever I want to do. So, and I was, you know, asking her if she can help me with this thing, and she said sure. So, oh, oops. Or did I pick up some crappy gun, arch sniper? To shoot more bullets. But yeah, guys, uh, soldier is by far my favorite class in this game. It used to be little because, um, I used to play Borderlands One. You know, before I got on PC and stuff, I used to play Borderlands One on 360, and I got, I guess, I'm not sure. I think I told this before, told you guys before in another video, but I got like. I was working on Lilith and I got her to uh, oh, 51 or two, and then I just kind of stopped. I think I didn't even work on playthrough two. I just <laughs> stayed on playthrough one and killed guys and stuff. I don't know why, but uh, I got her to level 51 or two. So you know, she was my favorite class at the time, and I was mainly you know when I played that game, I mainly played with you know my buddy, my buddy uh, Nick, and we uh, rocked out co-op. You know, I was Lilith and he was a soldier. And then, 
when I went to PC, I didn't, you know, play much on the PC, but I was working on Soldier, you know, I started Soldier again. And I didn't work much on PC. I got to like, well, 30 or something, like 40 or something like that. And then I, I kind of stopped playing or something. And I had an idea, you know, I, hey, I should do a, a Borderlands 1 Legendary Weapon Guide series. No one has done that before. I'm not that good at videos, but, you know, I might as well, you know, no one's done it before. That'd be really cool. And I'm glad I made that decision and I'm glad I did that because. And trust me, I was already a huge Borderlands fan before, alright guys? But, uh, you know, this made me play a lot more Borderlands 1, which is good because I just feel like I haven't played much Borderlands 1. I've played so much Borderlands 2, it seems like, but not much Borderlands 1. But before Borderlands 2 came out, oh my gosh, guys, I was so excited for it to come out. Oh my gosh, Borderlands 2. Oh man. I was like, I'm pre ordering this freaking loot chest, and <laughs> yeah, I got. I got the loot chest and I got the other new loot chest they came out with so I have both right now uh, up above me like side by side both those loot chests and yeah it's awesome I haven't even really even used the shift codes or whatever I've only like used one shift code uh, that came with the new chest the, like the shift codes with the legendaries I only used one I'm not sure if I'll give them away I probably actually that is a good idea that is a freaking good idea because Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to save those shift codes, alright guys, because they, they announced, is that it, is that it, I don't want to sit here, and, um, they announced the new, like, for Borderlands 2, they announced the new, uh, uh, like, level cap increase DLC, I'm not sure what it's called, but, uh, they announced it, it increases level cap from 61 to 72, which is crazy, and I can't wait for it, guys. I didn't do a video on it because there's already a lot of other dudes. Like Yodi Slay, I did a video on it, so that's why I didn't want to do a video on it. But uh, you know, if you don't know about that news, then go check out Yodi Slay's video or Morning After Kill's video, or you know anybody like that because they have the news on it. You know, they explain it. But uh, yeah, they they announced that new DLC plus a couple others like TK Baja's returning. You know, the zombie form and you fight Jack O' Lantern or whatever from this game. I think. Yeah, isn't there a Jacko Lantern boss or something like that on this game? Yeah, next to TK Baja's house, right? There's like this pumpkin patch or whatever. Pumpkin chunkin patch and something like that. But, uh, yeah. I should save these shift codes for that, you know, for when that, uh, that, uh, level cap increase DLC comes out. What is it called? I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, I should save up, save those cards, because I've only used one, it was like the Rarek, or, and, yeah, and the, uh, and the Goliath Mask, or whatever that came with it, I used those two. But I should save the rest, like the Infinity Pistol and stuff like that for the, and the Legend, I already, actually, I think I already used, no, I didn't, and the Legendary Class Mods and stuff, oh my gosh, that's a good idea, guys. Trust me, I probably would have given away, but I'm kind of, you know, I, I'm glad I didn't, because, um, because of this DLC announced, but I probably would have ended up giving them away for you dudes. Um, which I still might give a few away, you know, that I'm probably not going to use or anything. Or my least favorite legendaries. I'll probably actually still give a couple of them away. So, me, you, you know, maybe look, if you guys have Twitter, you know, hook me up on Twitter because I, I might give a few away on there sometime. So, keep a lookout, keep keep your eye out because I might, some, I don't know, or I might post something. I might, you know, let you guys know beforehand, maybe, you know, like an hour beforehand, hey, in an hour, I'm probably going to post this, cause, so keep a lookout or something like that, and, uh, or I might do one in a video, actually, I probably will, but I only activated two so far, and I'm going to save, save the rest, some of them for, uh, that new level cap increase, because that's going to be helpful, right when I hit level 72, I think Yodi, you know, Yodi made, did the, you know, made a good decision by, uh, you know, giving them to people, because he already had a but. He should have saved some of them, like the Infinity Pistol or something, because I'm not sure. Does he? I think he used them up, but, uh, you know, give them all to people, because I think he's selling them or something, but, uh, on I honestly don't know what he's doing, right? you know, with the stuff. I don't keep track of that. But, uh, yeah, he should have saved, like, the Infinity Pistol and stuff like that for when the new DLC. So I I'm glad I saved these guys. Like I said, I might give a few away to you, dude, so keep an eye on a Twitter or maybe... You know, maybe in one of my next videos I might post them, so keep an eye out. So if you have more lanterns too, you can activate these shift codes. Give you, grant you access to weapons. 
Um, oh. Alright, I think that about wraps it up, guys. I don't think I got anything this time, just purple and crapper. You get a lot of purples, though. Look at this. Purple, 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 purple. Jeez, purple, purple, purple. Well, that's pretty beastly looking roll over. Damn. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you like my ideas that I uh, let you guys know about, like the Yodi Sled thing. I mean, that was Yodi Sled's idea in the first place, but I was hoping to, uh, you know, make his idea, you know, turn out and actually, you know, be the one to create his, I, you know, create his idea and stuff and stuff like that. Maybe you dudes can help me out somehow, teach me the basics on zombie modding or whatever. Because I'm, I'm a huge fan of zombies, I'm not sure if you guys don't know, but I'm a huge fan of zombies. I'm not that good, honestly, but I'm pretty freaking good at, like, you know, if I know the map pretty well, I'm pretty good. But, like, new maps, like, I'm still struggling on, like, Mob of the Dead or whatever. I'm not good at that map. But buried, I love Buried. I just really don't like Mob of the Dead for some reason, I don't know. But don't, don't say anything about that, guys. Don't hate because I'm saying that, but I'm just not that, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I just probably need to play it more or something, but, uh. Yeah, I love Buried though, that's a cool map, I'm a pretty big fan of that, but the original Zombies maps, like, you know, Dur, you know, Durice and all that, like, Kino, Dur, Toten, Kino, Dur, Toten and 5 are probably going to stay my favorite next to Call of the Dead, because Kino, Dur, Toten, I mean, I've mastered that map, I don't, I haven't gotten that far, probably to, like, wave 40, which is probably not the best to you guys, but I'm, I bet I can get super far, I just get bored, I get really bored when I play Zombies, you know, I'm really good, but I just get bored, that's one problem I have with Zombies. You know, it's fun at first, but then you get pretty bored when you're, like, surviving forever. You know, like, it gets boring, you know. I wish it didn't get boring, but, uh... Maybe if I listen to music when I was playing or something, it'd probably stay entertaining or something like that. Because I like to listen to music when I play games, you know, dubstep and stuff like that. But, uh, anyway, I don't want to keep rambling on. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope my voice sounds pretty good. Because I feel like I did a pretty good job this video, and, uh... Hope you guys like my ideas. Like I said, post in the comments what you guys think. You know, your thoughts and opinions. So, maybe, you know, give me an idea for that, like, for that, uh, uh, Borderlands cinematic movie. You know, give me an idea if you guys have one. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, you know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do ne next Looters Live. I might do a special call off episode next Looters Live. So, be ready, be ready, dudes. I might do it this weekend or something, but, uh, I'm probably going to do another episode of Lose Live tomorrow as a solo, but, or maybe in a couple days, and then this weekend I might end up doing co-op, but I'm not sure, alright, I'm not sure yet, so, it's going to be four player hopefully, maybe three if, if we can't get to four, ten, but, never know guys, so yeah, that's basically it, I'm out of here, peace!